Okay, y'all. So as I have learned stuff since June, I figured out better ways to do things. Um, so in my original homepage video, I talked about making buttons um, for your Canvas pages, but in my research, I have found a much better way using Google Drawings. Um, and what's super cool about this is as you edit the buttons in Google Drawings, it edits it on your Canvas page. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you can have whatever you want for an image. Um, let me find something quick on Pexels. Um, this one's cute. Okay, so Pexels.com I love. Um, they are great for really high quality um, free images that you are able um, to take and use with license. So I do that whenever I can. Okay, so let's just pretend this is my homepage. If you want to know how to make a homepage using Adobe Spark, um, you can check out my video for that or any of the other amazing educators um, that have their videos. So let me do medium just because I don't want it to be too, too big. Nope, not big enough. Okay, large. Yeah, so maybe it was good the way it was before. We'll do extra large. Okay, that's fine. So I want this centered, so I'm gonna come up here and center it. And then let's say I want my buttons below. So if this is my homepage, or if you want your buttons on top, you can do it on top as well. So this business is still um, the same as it was before. I'm only gonna do, let's say three buttons. Uh, then once you have the table, you go into table properties right here. And you want to set your border width to zero. Um, that way you won't see the border um, of the tables with the buttons, you'll just see the buttons. And then have the width set to nothing, and then you want it centered. Now it's gonna look really teeny, but that's okay. Now I'm going to try to find, here we are, my Google Drive. So you're going to go to New and Google Drawing. Y'all, this is so quick. You're gonna love it. Once you figure this out, you will be on it. So let's say I want a module button because I like to have the kids go to um, the modules right from that little click button. Good to go. Now I'm gonna do shapes. You can pick whatever shape you want, y'all. You can have little heart buttons. Um, I'm really a fan of like this banner one. Um, so you just kind of drag it like that. But if you want to do a typical type button, um, the one that I do is this one. Um, and that one works really well. So you wanna kind of make it big. I know it seems weird, but you can adjust the size later. So you kind of wanna go for shape. If you want it to be like, you know, skinny or longer, there we go. Now I'm going to add a text box right inside and I'm gonna write module. I'm gonna keep it all caps, um, but you can do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna center it. I want it bold and I'm gonna make it as big as I can. Maybe even a little bit bigger, Let's say 54. Perfect. And then you can click this and kind of maneuver exactly where you want it. Now I want my background to be, let me see what, some like yellowy, some blue. So I'll do a blue background. Oh, that's a little harsh. There we go, that's good. And then I always like to line my buttons as well. And I kind of like them to be lined a little bit bigger. Now, what you're gonna do is you are going to move this button to the very corner of your screen, as corner tight up there as you can go. And then same thing with this. And then once you have it there, you can kind of maneuver it however you want. It actually looks a little wonky. Up, over, down, better. Now, you're gonna use this little corner piece and you need to drag it because otherwise, whatever you have showing is gonna be involved in your button. So you want it to be as close as you can without messing it up. Perfect, y'all, I love it. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna change the font color to white. woo -wee. I like it. Okay, so go to File and then Publish to Web. And you're just gonna get this link code, that's it. Um, leave it at medium. You have to hit publish first, okay, and then you're gonna copy this code. And then I'm just gonna leave it there for right now. Rock on, good to go. So pop it in there, you go to this upload image, and I'm just gonna drop in the URL, y'all, so I didn't even have to save the picture, I didn't have to download, I don't have to clog anything up, and I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna adjust the size. I seem to find small works best and you have to type in the alt text. So you type in exactly what the button is called. 
That looks good. I might try medium since I only have three buttons. I found when I have four, um, the small definitely works. So now the trick is you have to start a new one. So I like to open a new tab. Typically I would just go to drawing.new, um, but I like a new tab because I like to keep my old buttons um, there as well. So I think drawings.new works. We'll try and see. No. Maybe it's drawing.new. No. So I don't know why I can't do it like the docs. So I'll figure that out. So I'll just go here and do a new one. Now, what I do is I literally cut and paste this because I want it to be the same size. I want everything to be exactly the same. So sometimes it takes me a couple tries because sometimes I just get the text. Sometimes I get the button. Oh. Walk on, y'all. I got it first try. Okay, and then this one, same thing. I'm going to copy, not cut and paste, copy and paste. Rock on. Okay, so then I know another one that teachers like to put on is class link. So I'll do class link. And then same old jazz. I'm not going to touch anything because it's the same size. And I want to try to get the same distance that I got for the other one. Okay, that looks good, y'all. And I'm going to call this one class link button. If I have different classes, sometimes I like to label them what the class is. Um, so that way I'm good to go. So you have to publish it every time. And I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to come right back here, go to the image, upload image, URL, paste my URL in. And there we go. I'm going to make it I think a medium is what I did. And I have to type in the alt text. Perfect. And then last one, what do we want to do, y'all? Like an about me. Um, we could do like a course resources. You could do anything. So um, let me copy. I know in my other courses I have a course resource. Oh, help. We could do a help one. Perfect. Paste. Copy, paste, I'll call this one help button. Now here's the tricky part is like when you get a word that's a lot shorter, um, you have the choice to kind of bump up the font size. <clears throat> I try not to touch um, the text box at all because I like it, everything to kind of be along the same lines. You know what I mean? Same you know, size and stuff. So we'll do that and I'll just hope that it looks good. Okay, same, same. Put that there, good to go. And then I'm going to publish it. And y'all, obviously, once you do this, the more and more you do it, the easier it gets and the quicker you can go. And then I can't wait to show y'all what it looks like when you can edit the buttons after and it just refreshes it. It's so cool. So you can keep the same buttons and then just change out the pictures, the colors, um, and kind of freshen up your canvas. Help. Awesome. So now, I don't like to touch anything yet. I like to see what it looks like first. So I'm going to hit save and check it out. And I mean, I like that. I like the buttons big. If you want, you can go in and you can make your homepage bigger so we can try that. Um, and this piece basically just like messing around and trying to get it the way that you want. So 1,000. Oh, my God, y'all. Yes. Okay. I mean, I like that. I like that exactly the way it is. But I will show you all what you do if you don't. So when you come here, you can shorten these little guys up. So let's say I wanted to do small buttons. I can come over here. I can do small. Like let's say you have four or six, small, and then it automatically shortens it up for you. But like see how I said about that business since I changed the help um, size, it looks, the text looks a little bigger. So you can kind of just mess around with that if you want. And then you can go in and squeeze these guys in and then it will make them smaller. So if you like the smaller buttons, then there you go as well. Now, here's the cool part. Let me show you this, y'all. So 
help. I want to see what this font size was before, 54. And let me go to my help button, and I'm going to make this back 54. But here's the cool part. Oh, let me make sure I have it published and ready to go. I'll publish it just in case. Okay, so now I'm going to set it as my home page. And I'm going to go home. Perfect. So now let me show you how if I change this, it will change the actual color, which is amazing. Let me do orange so that way you can really see it. And if I hit refresh, and then I go back here, and if I hit refresh, okay, I go to edit. See, and it's right there. So you have to go back in and hit edit and then refresh it from there. So like if you know you're changing your buttons, all you do and then see it change the size and everything, y'all. I just can't get over this. I just think it's so great how user-friendly it is, how you can go in and change the colors, the look, without having to completely change the button. And then if you want to actually change your buttons, you can just go in and just from help, once the kids are kind of good and you think they're all set, you can change it to about me or you can change it to first week's assignment or anything that you want, which is so awesome. So now let me show you how to link. I'm just gonna leave that orange, why not? So for linking, you go up here, and if I want to link this to the actual module, I'm gonna go to course links and course navigation, and then I can have any of my buttons be any of these um, course navigation items. So I'm gonna hit module. Now for class link, I'm going to put class link on it. So up here, and then you go to external links. I don't know if that's the right link, y'all, for class link. I'm not even gonna play, so we'll check it out in a sec. And then help, um, there are like kind of pages in your Canvas set up that have help stuff on them. Um, I'm not sure if mine will, so, because this is not a course that I have it set up, but in your um, GCISD courses, if you go to pages and if you scroll down to the H's, you'll see that there will be a help page or you can create your own help page. Um, so I'm just going to link class overview for now so y'all can see it when it's good to go. Okay, now I'm going to check it out. I'm going to go home so I can actually see what it looks like on the home page. And here it is. This would be your Adobe Spark, whatever you want. And then brings you right to modules, right there. This one will bring you right to class link if I put the right, <laughs> the right link in, um, which I did. Cool. And then this one would bring you to that help page or whatever page you set up. So this one brings me to the um, class overview page because that's the one that I linked in. But y'all, I just think that is pretty cool that you can go in and you can change your stuff whenever you want. So you know what? course overview and I am gonna have to make this a little bit smaller for sure I'm gonna kind of pop it up and then hit refresh and then I'm gonna go here I'm gonna hit edit I'm gonna refresh it on my screen probably already did actually nope so then I'm gonna hit refresh And then course overview. So you can have three buttons and you can constantly be changing them out, changing them out, changing the colors. If you have different units, you want to use different colors. Now you're on unit two. Unit one was blue. Unit two is green. Like rock on. I can't believe it. And then I've even seen people that use these buttons on their pages. So like, for instance, if this was a page, not my home page, it would have the assignment up top. And then I would have a button that would say go on to the next and I would link whatever page I wanted them to go on to next. So the possibilities are endless. I hope that was helpful. As I keep figuring things out, I'll keep um, recording. Thanks, y'all.